As Dr. Seuss once said, you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. I just wrapped up my last season of high school golf. And my teammates and I accomplished many great things and created amazing memories. I wanna wish them the best of luck next year and fuel their fire to succeed. I played golf all four years of high school. My freshman year, I played on the boys team and the last three years, I played on the first ever girls golf team. Many of you have played sports and can understand the significance of playing your last year for the last time. Today, I'm going to discuss some of our best accomplishments as a team, my favorite memories, and to wish everyone thanks and good luck next year. My sophomore year, we created the first ever girls golf team at Pleasant. And in the last three years, we've accomplished many things, such as winning the Lady Colt Classic all three years with medalist honors all three years and runner up medalist the first two years. We also played in the Fredericktown Invitational we won the first two years and had medalists the last two years. We played in North Union's Invitational and won it two years in a row with medalists and runner-up medalists last year and medalists honors this year. We played in Olentangy Orange in Berlin's tournament last year, which we'd never played in before and we hadn't played that course. It was a rainy day and we were playing steep competition from schools like New Albany and... Um, Dublin Jerome, but we managed to come in second place and have the runner-up medalist and third place honors, which was pretty cool. Conference-wise, we dominated the MOIC, uh, or Mid-Ohio Athletic Conference, and won it all three years undefeated. We had the medalist every conference tournament for those three years, which also actually includes my freshman year when I won it as an individual because I was playing on the boys team because we didn't have a girls golf team yet. So Pleasant actually had the medalist at the conference tournament my entire four years of high school. Statewise, we went to districts for three years and we came in second at my sophomore year sectionals by one stroke to Lakewood. And that day we had the runner up medalist in third place. So that's something to be proud of. But we never made it to state and that's because we go to the central district, which only takes one team and one player. And we play schools like Columbus School for Girls and Columbus Academy. But we can take pride in the fact that for the last like five years, the winner of the division two state championships has come from central districts. So we play the best competition around and we play well against them. So we need to be proud of that even if we can't make it to the next level. Along with a lot of these accomplishments came many amazing memories. We've always had a strong sense of friendship and sportsmanship on our team because we've only had five or less players all three years. And to put it in perspective, Six make varsity, so we've never even had a full varsity team. But our good spirits coupled with our drive for success created a strong team around. And some of my favorite memories include the first time coach ever stopped for food on the bus, which was after our first major win as a girls team at the Fredericktown Invitational. And we pulled off to this little ice cream parlor off the side of the road. Um, some of my other memories include our tradition of taking a selfie before every match our first year because we wanted as many pictures as we could because it was our first year of having a team. Uh, we also had Sour Patch Kids basically every match to the point where Dina doesn't even eat Sour Patch Kids anymore, <laughs> um, who's my best friend. I'm gonna miss her innate ability to sleep on the golf bus, whether that's a 10 minute bus ride or an hour. And she can sleep with her eyes open or sitting up. So we have a lot of pictures from that. After a lot of matches, we went to El Campesino to celebrate to the point where we had our end of the year golf banquet actually at El Camps, which was easily the best one. Uh, after every conference we won, our moms put together little goodie bags that had like confetti and gag gifts. And, and this year we had tiaras because it was our third year in a row winning it, which was pretty cool. But my favorite memory of all time has to be when after my last nine hole match, for our last nine hole match, we played Fairbanks at Marysville Golf Club, and we went to Benny's Pizza afterwards, which was huge because Coach really didn't take us for food a whole lot, uh, including sit down restaurants because of how long it took. So it meant a lot. And we went and we had a wonderful dinner with our teammates and our parents, and we discovered our teammate loved ABBA. And there was a singer, so we walked up to him to try to see if he would play Money, 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 but he didn't know it. However, that prompted us to do karaoke the entire bus ride home which was 40 to 45 minutes. And we sung songs by ABBA, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga, basically hits from the 2010s. 
Along with these amazing memories, I learned that you have to appreciate what you have in the moment, and that includes the friendship. I was lucky enough to play all three years with my best friends. That includes people I was friends with before and friends that came out of golf. All of my teammates are wonderful people and have a lot of potential. Uh, next year, they're gonna accomplish many of their own traditions and continue to dominate the conference as long as they have enough people for a team. I'm gonna miss these amazing people who taught me that the experience is not defined by the accomplishment, but by the journey. And in our journey, we had many highs and lows, but we persevered, just like I know you all will next year. So thank you so much for a wonderful last season. In conclusion, golf was a major part of my life for four years. It gave me lifelong friendships and the determination to pursue even the hardest challenges. I'm gonna deeply miss the amazing experiences and players, but my teammates are gonna achieve many great things in my absence. They have the skills, the kindness, and the determination for success. Today, I went over our best accomplishments, my favorite memories, and my immense gratitude for my former teammates. As Gary Ryan Blair, president of the Goal Guys, one, or says, every task, goal, race, and year comes to an end. Make it a habit to finish strong. As I move into the next chapter of my life, remember to cherish the moment and to make the most of it by believing in yourself and finishing strong.